COSH stands for control of substances, hazardous to health. But what does this mean? It means any substance hazardous to health, except the ones on the specific hazard list. This list covers three substances with specific regulations that must be followed at the workplace. The three substances on the specific hazard list that are exempt from COSH assessments are asbestos, lead, and radioactive substances. These three substances pose unique risks and are subject to specific regulations that were implemented prior to the introduction of the COSH regulations in 1988. However, almost everything else is included besides the three substances exempt from the COSH regulations. And by included, I mean any substance a person uses or may come into contact with at work. As a rule of thumb, most people initially think of COSH regulations as being in place to prevent people from getting harmed by chemicals. And with COSH in mind, if asked to define a chemical, you might say thinners found in some paints or chlorine found in bleach. However, water is also a chemical and washing up liquid contains chemicals that can dry the skin, causing irritation and dermatitis in some people. So, thinking COSH assessments only need to be produced for substances you may perceive as hazardous is an urban myth. The COSH regulations cover chemicals, fumes, vapors, dust, gases, germs, and biological agents. In short, if a substance is found or used in the workplace, a COSH assessment must be conducted to verify whether it is hazardous. It can't be presumed that substances pose no hazards just because staff have used the same products for a long period. Carrying out a COSH assessment may reveal that without intervention, a product could create long-term health effects from affecting people with sensitive skin or asthma to more serious conditions. The knowledge learned from assessing a substance allows an employer to introduce control measures to eliminate or reduce substance risks to acceptable levels. The COSH regulations are there so that we assess and understand a product or environment before use.